this is where I consider my home. And it is so, so amazing to see the work that Clarksville has done over the last four years. To see the work that Chaz, I'm going to take a personal point of privilege to to congratulate you on the work that you've done here in building Montgomery County to prepare it to turn blue. So thank you for all the work that you've been doing. And thank you up and down the ballot for everyone who put their neck out there, who was fighting for democracy, because we know what it looks like at the state house and the state senate when we don't have fair representation up there. Things like in 2023, Jeff, you were there. When they put out two of our representatives and tried to put out Gloria Johnson, we know what it looks like to lack democracy in this state. We know what it looks like when we lack democracy and they arm our teachers with guns instead of giving them the dollars they need to, to educate our students. We know what it looks like when we have a trigger law abortion ban and stories like Allie Phillips happen yeah. right here in Montgomery County. Yeah. Yeah. And so I thank each and every one of you for showing up and continue to show up because we got some work to do in Montgomery County. And so Gloria Johnson is taking that fight from the state house now to the U.S. Senate. She's going to fight to make sure we have equal access to the health care that we need as women in the state. She's going to champion the fight to make sure we're bringing federal dollars into our state for public education. She's going to champion the fight for health care to make sure that Tennessee is not the number one state leading our nation in medical bankruptcy. We've got to do better. And Montgomery County, we can. We can do much better. And so I'm supporting Gloria. I'm championing for Gloria. Gloria is going to champion for us. And I ask that we work to get every single vote. If you know a neighbor who has not voted in the last six years, they're, they're one of the ones that we're targeting this year. Marsha Blackburn won her election in the last election cycle with 200,000 votes. In the last decade, there are about 300,000 voters who have not gone to cast their ballot. And so y'all, it's doable. We can do this. So I thank y'all. We got some work to do. I'm excited to be in the fight with y'all. And let's get it done, y'all.